Yo, what's going on guys? It's Ryan again. Hope you're all having a great day so far. We're on the road to a thousand subs and I want you guys to know that I appreciate every single one of you. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the video and let's hop right into it. Today we're restoring a pair of Fire Red 3s and these shoes need a full cleaning, a midsole repaint, a leather repaint, and the rubber needs to be unyellowed as well. First up, I put on some gloves and gave the shoes a light cleaning to help loosen up some of that dirt. And for the soles, we can simply use Rejuvenator's Brass Brush. To prepare these shoes for the washing machine, I like to use detergent inside just to make sure they're fully deodorized. And now we can insert our shoe trees. Now you guys already know why I put the laces here, but if you don't, it's to stop any creases during the washing cycle. Put these in the laundry bags, tie your knot at the end of the bag, and you're good to go. So these are going to go on a cold cycle for 30 minutes. After the shoes are dried, the lining is bright again, and the shoes smell amazing. Our next step is to remove these creases using an iron and a wet cloth. For the side panels, if you push outwards from the inside and iron it down, you can almost always remove that crease. Now I try to use the end of the iron just so I don't damage the midsole or cause separation. And this is a quick little before and after. So before I clean the midsoles, I try to color match it and I started with this infrared color. The infrared color is a good start, but it is a little dark and not as vibrant. I kind of just eyed it, but from what I could remember, I used about one drop of infrared, one drop of chili red, and half a drop of fire red and white. To help us remove the factory paint, I used Dad's Easy Spray. Keep in mind, there's a new formula now which makes it less effective, but it's still better than using acetone by itself. After a few minutes or so, I gently swiped away using the rough side of a sponge. And that's pretty much the process. Keep applying more solution and then clean it off gently. And then use rubbing alcohol to further remove any paint. I don't recommend using acetone until the very end, but even then you need to clean very sparingly because it could damage your midsoles. After about 30 minutes or so, both the midsoles are ready to go. I went ahead and cleaned the uppers with acetone to remove any of the factory finish. I 
I then went ahead and gave the midsoles and the uppers a repaint and used the 2000 grit sandpaper to remove any brush strokes. Now I usually save these pods right when I do the last coat of white, and if paint leaks on, you can always use acetone on a q-tip. Frog tape is my go-to just because it comes with the container to keep the edges clean. The cleaner your tape is, the sharper your lines will be. Keep in mind though, the adhesive is very strong on this tape, so I recommend letting your base color sit for as long as you can, otherwise the tape might rip it right off. Now after you secure the tape all around, paint over the seal with your base color, because anything that would have normally bled through won't be seen since you're using white now, and it will fill in that gap. With the midsoles taped up and ready to go, I went ahead and painted the red portion. In order to touch up the back tabs, I first cleaned up any dirt using acetone. To make sure your logo comes out nice, always sketch it out first so you can see what you're doing and then fill it out on your second coat. As usual, sand in between using a 1500 grit sandpaper, use a q-tip with acetone to clean off any leaks, and then finally protect your paint with Krylon matte finisher. The last major step is to unyellow the rubber using Salon Care 50, Saran Wrap, and our indoor setup. Keep in mind you will lose traction, but I feel it's absolutely necessary to remove that yellow tint. After about 15 hours in our indoor setup, the stains should easily come off now with acetone or a brush. Final steps are to do minor touch-ups all around, remove the lint inside, polish them using tire shine, and then lace them back up. There you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and a sub if you haven't already. Feel free to check out my sneaker page in the description below. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you soon.